Yeah, I mean, Coach Church will start us out with an opening statement, then we'll open things up for questions. Coach? Uh, yeah, we got off to a good start. We're moving the ball, making shots. They went zone, and we just never really got it going. And we let our offense affect our defense. And I didn't think we competed at a high enough level uh, to win this game. They're excellent. They made shots. They're hard to guard because guards is so good. And, um, you know, it's tough. It was tough. I just, I, I thought, I didn't like the way we finished the first half. Uh, I thought there was times in the second half we really played well, but, you know, um, we got to learn how to uh, compete a little bit more and not, you know, worry about missed shots. And uh, we tried a lot of different things against that zone. Some of it worked, some of it didn't, but we missed a lot of open shots too. And, you know, maybe we could have had a little bit more confidence if we had made, made a few shots. Start off with Daniel Uyafuzi from the Baltimore Sun. Hey, Mark. Um, I, I know you talked about the zone that they went to after a couple um, after a couple timeouts, but I mean, I know over the past couple of games or so, you've been saying you know it's a fight with the team to, to um, on on offense. I mean, just what just what more can you do? I mean, you know, after three straight three straight games, three straight losses, what more can you do on offense to try to uh, get them playing the way you want to play? Uh, well, I thought, I thought we made a huge strides in the first eight minutes of the game. It's the best we moved the ball, uh, made huge strides and, uh, we look good. I know I'm going to go back and watch the film and be like, damn, we moved the ball pretty well against the zone. Man, that was a wide open shot. Right. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I have all the answers right now because I haven't watched it, but I'm going to imagine we had some pretty good looks now. Turnovers are unacceptable. Some of our turnovers, you know, and, and Daryl had six and he's, you know, he's just not, hopefully he'll get better by Sunday getting used to the, to the mask, but he, he wasn't himself. And, um, but the turnovers is not what is good. What's, what's great. And then there's probably four or five, six, maybe shots that we shouldn't have taken, uh, should have, you know, penetrated and pitched a little bit more, but I'm going to look at it and be like, yeah, we're trying to do the right things. We just, couldn't make a shot there for, for a stretch, couldn't make a shot and had some really good open looks. And if I, if I can have a quick follow-up, I mean, I, I know you guys only shot six free throws. I mean, last week against Michigan, again, you shot six free throws. I mean, is that something that you, you're, you've you been talking to them about, trying to get into the paint and, and be more aggressive? Yeah, I mean, we, we shot more free throws in Indiana on the road. We just, uh, tonight they zoned us, you know, and, um, they just zone us. We have no low post presence, especially against the zone. So it's 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 kind of hard um, to be you know be honest with you. Um, it's a very unusual team, very unusual uh, set of circumstances. Normally we're a team that gets to the foul line. Um, and tonight, you know, recently we haven't. But give their zone some credit uh, on that. Emily G. and Bobo, Washington Post. Hey, Mark. Um, with kind of both offensively and defensively in the paint these last three games are you are you more concerned than you were then after after this stretch they're hard to guard they're a terrific team I, I thought we had a really good strategy that was working pretty well and then we just we missed every shot against the zone and decided we weren't going to run back hard enough and Luca got some transition and we had some soft fouls in there and you know, we were really doing a great job defensively. Uh, and they're, they're, I mean, when you got a guy like that low post and you got to double them, and then you got shooters all around them, you know, that's a tough team to guard. And we just had a stretch there. Where we just weren't worth a flip uh, on offense and weren't very good on defense. And last eight minutes of that half, we just let the game get away from us. And um, it's disappointing. Uh, but I do think we're making strides and trying to do the right things that are going to help this team, you know, down the road. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of really good bigs in this league. And, of course, this year we don't we don't have – it's not us. It's not who we are. And then just a quick follow-up, the decision to kneel before the game. Um, how did that come to be? And what were you hoping to do? Yeah, that was player-driven. Um, player-driven from both teams. And Daryl came in and said, we're going to do this. We talked to Bohannon on Iowa's team. And I wanted to support him on it. Um, you know, a lot going on in the world. And 
it's confusing to our guys. Uh, what's going on? We talk about it. And that was all player driven. And as coaches, you know, us in Iowa as coaches just supported what the players wanted to do. Andy Costco, Washington Times. Hey, Mark, uh, you, you mentioned this team doesn't have a low post presence. I mean, what, what does Troll Merrill need to do to kind of become that low post presence? Or, or, or where do you look for answers in that regard? That's not the answer. Just not the, he's not a low post guy. He, he can shoot it, but he, he's, not, he's not the answer on the post. Guys, I'm not a dummy. I'm not a dummy. I've been doing this a long time. I got five pro, I got five NBA centers. Come on. Last question, Lila Bromberg, Tessie to the Times. Yeah, um, Coach, you kind of mentioned just having an unusual set of circumstances, not having that traditional kind of guy down low. Um, do you think there are kind of further things you need to adjust to kind of work around that? Yeah, we're trying everything, Lila. Trust me. Uh, um, we moved the ball better. We just weren't good against the zone tonight. Defensively, it's really hard on us. We're doing a lot of different things, guys, um, than we were doing three weeks ago defensively, just trying to help our post guys. Um, we're getting better at it. That was a tough team to guard. And when you when you can't make a shot during a stretch and you decide you're not going to run back, it was more about transition defense than it was our half-court defense uh, during that stretch. So we're not staying status quo. We're, we're trying to figure it out. And uh, I think, you know, some of the steps that we're making are, are going to help us down the road. It's just – Right now, it's just getting the guys to play a little bit more confidence and getting the guys to compete a little bit more throughout the game. And, you know, we were doing that. We were playing really hard. We were playing really hard. I don't know, you know, what happened tonight, um, but we've played extremely hard. I've been really proud of this team, how hard they've competed. And tonight, it wasn't there for us. All right, Coach, thank you. We'll have Aaron Wiggins and Eric Ayala here 